Okay, guys. Uh, I was gonna give you guys a first look here. Uh, hopefully, I can do it after after we get on. There's just a ton of people stuck here at the Eclipse Space Station, and it seems as though no one can uh, even access uh, Planet Cryrene right now. Cryrene, or however you want to pronounce it. So, um, yeah. Uh, hopefully, a first look will be here shortly. It's just uh, the planet's just yeah, kind of lagging, I guess. Uh, it's not really accepting anybody yet. So, Let's see what happens here. Alright guys, we finally made it here, um, kind of our first look here is laggy as all hell. Let's gonna set down here, looks like there's something beneath me. There's a the sparkles. So laggy. Oh god, it hurts. It hurts my computer so bad. Alright, here we go. It's to be expected though, it really is. So let's, oh shit! Damn it. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. I crashed. I crashed. Is that mine? Yep. There it is. It's dark. It's nighttime. It's dark and brooding. This is, uh, is this a teleporter maybe? What's this? Hmm. I don't know. There's no blue dot either. Take a look. I guess there's people all around me. They just haven't loaded in yet, though. So dark. Let me get my get my light out here. All right, hold on, hold on, guys. Hold the horse. Okay, guys, it'll be really quick because the server keeps on crashing. Um, this is the trade repair stuff like that. Society blueprints, construction. So. Uh, an auction, of course. Uh, I'm gonna go to the trade and just buy a couple bombs. We're just gonna start mining right away. Uh, I don't know, let's just start with five bombs. I wanna get the hell out of here, uh, out of this area rather, because it's just so many people. So many people. I, I didn't even get the TP, and there's my, my VTOL, and we're just gonna fly up, and we are getting out of this server, hopefully. Uh, yeah, let's just get out of here. So, hopefully the, uh, hopefully we could get to a more, uh, sustainable server so that we're not crashing, like, every three minutes like it happened. So, alright, uh, we'll pick it, I'll pick it right back up. Just sort of. Alright guys, this look, looks like we're a little, we're a little further from, um, the starting, the start point area. I don't know why, I mean, I guess... I guess they all have to dump us at this, the same TP like the other planets, but I, I wish they would change the system. But anyway, here we are. Uh, this is the map. It's uh, it's gridded out. It's interesting. Um, can't say I like it. I, I don't know if I like the, the grid as the ocean, but whatever. Ah, shit! Alright, guys. I think I finally made it out with that area that everybody was everybody was in. Now I don't expect to get anything more than less than oil. It's uh, a brand new planet. People haven't put pet into it yet. Uh, here's some old fle flesh rippers. We'll take a look at them in a second. Uh, if we even find anything it should just only be less than oil. So, um, and, and probably their, their common or whatever that's going to be. So uh, flesh rippers. It's cool. It's different. I mean, definitely is different. These are low level, level threes. I wonder where all the high level stuff is. So basically, the map uh, we went south because it looked as though there was a server down south here. In fact, it could have maybe, maybe only three servers. I don't know, but um, <clears throat> it's definitely not finished. It doesn't look appear to be finished. But uh, yeah, again, this is speculative. By any means, uh, come and see for yourself. Make your own opinion out of it. By all means, I should say. Use any means to get here. I know I said in my, my other videos it would take me a month to get here, but I really want to just get a first look. Just to see what's up. See what it looks like. See how dark it is. Gothic. I don't know. From the, the pictures, it looked like it was going to be uh, like 
super harsh environment. And actually, from the map, it, it kind of does look pretty harsh. So, so not graphically, but graphically, it's kind of beautiful. Um, if I had to compare it, and I don't really want to, uh, um, to like say Arcadia or Calypso, it's it's reminds me a lot of Calypso because the, the all the different little items, and areas, and stuff. Some mutant jelly worms. How freaking cool is that? Look at that. Oh, a little. That's a baby one. <laughs> Bile jelly worm. Oh, jeez, that's cool. There's someone already killing them. It looks like. Oh, I missed it. Sorry. Um. Yeah, let's uh let's just drop another bomb. Oh, this one doesn't have a name, it's just level six. It's alright. They're just level sixes. What are they? Little flying birds. There's a lot of flying mobs on this side. Cool, look at the little wispy things on it. Cool. Very cool. So let's uh let's just take another fly here. I gotta say I I am kind of um I guess you could say bias towards Arcadia because it's just it's gorgeous. It's more Earth-like planet, um, but uh, this I guess you know it's it's all what you want. I guess this is more supposed to be like a hunting planet. Than what it is. So let's see if we just can't get some list or something oil or something here. It really needs to be filled with ped. Like I said in my other videos, it's uh, probably take a while for anybody to find anything. So. Alright, let's uh I'm gonna get out of this area and I'll show you a different area. Okay, it looks like I'm coming upon a base here with teleporter. And uh little outpost, let's just take a look. It's cool. I wonder if they'll use that little area right there for shops or something. Maybe now nah, it's like ammo crates. Never mind. I'm a nub. So anyway, the trade right there. Society. Look at that. Oh, it's a little, it looks like little Eskimos. That's cool. Repair and storage. Actually, that's a brilliant storage sign. Like, that's cool. I like that. They're all completely different. Like you could just notice. Boom. Or orange or yellow or whatever color that is. Boom. That's. Um. That's uh you know storage. Uh, so. And then let's check out the let's check out the teleporter because I couldn't get it in the first area. Let's see if we could operate it. Okay, so oh great, they're all accessible right now. That's awesome. So let's just let's head somewhere else. Let's let me grab my VTOL and let's just freaking get somewhere else. Let's go. What's that? Is it guns? Automated gun turret. That's awesome too. Look at how that now that's unique. The gun turret, like on a, a little uh, trailer thingy there. A little mobile gun trailer. It's freaking awesome. Let's head all the way up top. Alright, so here we are. I don't know, like, I'm not a big fan of these glowing blue lights. But, uh,. See. Let's see what we can do. A couple of people. I mean, it, it's. It, I like how they they gave the teleporters right off the bat. You don't have to go searching for them because that's always a pain in the ass. I mean, it's fun for newer players like on, on Calypso, but I, you know, when you're when you're an older player, like you just want to get to the goods. You know, it's down there. I wanted to see what bot that was, or whatever it was, so... Definitely a darker themed planet. So, let's drop down, let's drop some... Let's drop a probe here. It looks like there's a, a level 6 scout bot, 200. I haven't seen anything with any massive levels yet, but... Again, we're, uh... Still checking it out. Unless it's just perpetual night all the time, I don't know. Where else can we go here? And I'm just, I'm kind of getting that map bug where uh, let's go to the islands. I'm getting that map bug where it doesn't show up the TPs at all. Let's just try reload here. 
so I really I'm kind of flying blind. That's kind of cool. It's a neat little area. Doesn't look like there's any. Oh, maybe there's mobs down there. What's this? There we go. Now that's a, a pretty substantial mob. It looks like laggy, laggy, laggy. Oh, not really. Mature Penelion. Penelion. Some sort of dinosaur thing here. Just not the toll. Not the tola. Another flying. A lot of flying stuff. Those are level threes. Those are smaller levels. Huh. Let's get right in front of his face. Oh my god. Freaking laggy. Laggy balls, dude. Look at that thing. Now that is awesome looking. Look at him. He's like a gnarly fanged dinosaur dragon type of thing with a fire, like his horn is on fire. Oh, he looks pretty badass. He's looking at me like, oh, turkey, you're cool. But I can't because, like, this be told on the two, and I got the blow up doll in the backseat, so. Um, <laughs> no, not really. Alright, uh, let's go down the islands and I'll just cut to that. Alright guys, um, <clears throat> just got the message from Mindark. I just I DC'd yet again, uh, so I got out of the server. We're just taking a quick look over here on the right hand side. Got to make it really quick. Just got a message from Mindark. The server's going down in three minutes, so. Um, I really want to make my way over there because it looks super cool, but we're going to drop one bomb here, right here, and then I'm going to just try to get the hell out of this, uh, Oh, someone just discovered a Zent Tech Freeze Ray X1. Um, and I'm just gonna get off the planet, hopefully. And, uh, yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I don't care if I lose the tiny little bit of oil that I have on me. But. Oh, there's a list. Let me see if I can just grab it. <clears throat> Maybe I have a, a slight chance. Oh no. Love to have seen some more of the mobs. Um, love to see more of the the planet without it being completely darkened uh, by nightfall. I don't know why they did that. Start it off on the, the uh, nightfall, but um, <clears throat> it is what it is, I guess. So we'll see. Um, heading back to Arcadia right now. Uh, this is just you know just a quick glimpse, guys. Don't let it detract you from from visiting, uh, maybe in a day or two, <laughs> you know, let them work out some of the bugs. Um, uh, it looks cool, I gotta say, it's, it's pretty impressive, the, the looks of it. I wish I'd seen more of the landscape, because I think I'm really missing out on some of the nice key features I got a minute to get the hell out of here. <clears throat> Need to get into space. I don't know if it's this particular server, or if it's all of it, but, I mean, look at that cool volcano over there spewing toxic fumes into the air. There's like, oh my god, there's giant mushrooms over, down over there. See, I'm missing a lot. You know, there's like this, I'm guessing that's the sun. It's just not, it's just not coming in for some reason, even though I have most of my stuff on very high. My graphics. <coughs> Come on, pig. Take off. Let's get the hell out of here. Here we go. Approaching safe, uh, person safe, they're approaching space, so. Not sure if there's, if they'll shut down the entire game here or if it's just that particular server, but either way, we made it to the space station. I'm just gonna pop in the space station and sell off my, uh, my oil list, my, like, pet or two that I found. So, guys, that was the first look at Planet Cryrene. Um, I wish it could have gotten better. It looks really cool, I can't wait to return, but I'm going to return maybe after a week or two and let them work out some bugs and stuff. So, just a quick quick look, uh, by any means, uh, yeah, come and visit it. Um, the, the development teams are really hard on it. Uh, I've been following them on Facebook and, uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's just, it's just a cool little planet. And, uh, just give it a little bit of time, I think, and uh, let it shape up a little bit. Alright guys, thanks for watching.